Hmm. I was going to do a you're going to have a good time pun, <laughs> insert a pun here, but I feel like that's a necessary. I feel like everyone's going to be doing that, so let's just get started. Everybody going to tell you, don't you? Everybody going to tell you not to. Everybody don't really want you to live your dreams. Good Time is directed by the Safdie brothers and stars Robert Pattinson. It's good to see that he's breaking out of that whole Twilight mold that he got himself into, but he does a good job in this movie. The story is about two brothers and it takes place during a 24 hour period. One of them has a mental disability. The other one played by Robin Pattinson and his name's Connie. He's just a street thug. He's a low life, just an asshole. They attempt to rob a bank and something goes wrong. Connie's brother, the one with the mental disability, gets locked up. Now he must come up with $10,000 in order to bail his brother out. And that's where the story takes you. Now the two brother dynamic, it's a pretty interesting dynamic the way I saw it. You have one of the brothers who's mentally disabled. So he creates some kind of purity because when I associate somebody with a mental disability, you see them as pure, that they can't do no harm, as innocent. Then you have the opposite side of the spectrum, Rob Pattinson's character, Connie, who's just a low life, selfish, and just everything he's using people for his own good. So it's a pretty interesting dynamic right there. And as the movie goes on, Connie gets himself into a lot of trouble and to a lot of mess. And although he has good motivations, he's trying to get his brother out. But I mean, he did put him in there in the first place. This movie just makes you dislike this character because another other movies let's say like the town and Ben Affleck's character in that movie they're yeah they're robbing banks too and they're kidnapping people but you kind of want Ben Affleck to succeed in that movie but in this movie you don't this movie makes you despise our main character Connie this movie feels realistic it does take place during the night so there's a lot of interesting cinematography there's a lot of neon signs a lot of there's a good scene that takes place in White Castle and it was kind of like a reference to Harold and Kumar and I thought that was really cool and the soundtrack for this movie it just creates creates the same atmosphere that you're watching this gritty dark and there's a lot of dark comedy in this movie i personally like this kind of like fight club that kind of feel that gritty feel like fight club i got that feeling from this movie the big issue i had with this movie i had a subplot or a theme that was kind of focused on what's trending in 2017 so i had connie hates cops he was using he was uh, racial profiling the cops are racial profiling there's some racist moments sexist moments he's using people for his own benefit and it felt a little bit too forced and that kind of threw me off a little bit but that's the only thing i could nitpick from this movie so overall if you want to have a good time at the movie theater that's my pun you should check out this movie by the safety brothers and i'm interested to see other projects by them because this is their third film i'm kind of curious to see what those two movies are all about and this movie great acting a good story and it does feel realistic it does push the social justice warrior agenda a little bit too much so i'm gonna give a good time a grade of a b good time are you guys gonna check out this movie it doesn't have that super wide release it's kind of more of an independent film but you should definitely check it out there's a lot of people praising robert pants in this movie because he does he is such a good character that sometimes you don't even realize that's the dude that made twilight let me know what you guys think in the comment section don't forget to subscribe Thank you guys for watching. My name's Angel. Everybody gonna tell you not to. Everybody don't really want you to live your dreams.